Hello everyone. Most of questions that I hear from web learners, how can I become a web developer? From where can I start to have a job as a web developer? Does it worth this much effort of reading, practicing and watching videos to be a web developer? All these questions I hear a lot from learners and someday I was one of them. So that's why I started this series. I want you to understand everything about web development. So you have a starting point and a target that you want to achieve. And this will save you so much time. So in this video, I will explain the roadmap to be a web developer. And in the next videos, I will explain each programming language I will mention in this video. Let me agree that web development divided into two parts, front-end web development and back-end web development. So you can be a front-end web developer or back-end web developer, or even you can study both and become a full stack web developer. So let me start and dig deep into front-end web development. So in order to be a front-end web developer or in general to be a web developer, you must have a basic understanding of HTML and CSS. HTML which create the elements inside the page like pictures, links, buttons, and so on. And CSS to style those elements to add a color or background color. And once you learn HTML and CSS, you can create web pages. Yes, you can create web pages, but it will be static web pages. So the user just can read a paragraph or watch a picture or a video. When you feel comfortable with HTML and CSS, it's time now to dig deeper. How? In HTML, you should know how to use maps, icons, and fonts. And according to styling the elements, you should learn CSS3 and Bootstrap to make responsive web pages that fit all screen sizes, small screen size, big screen size, and uh, medium screen size. So now you should start learning JavaScript to create dynamic web pages. JavaScript will make the page interactive. In JavaScript, you should learn how to access to HTML DOM or HTML element, how you can remove a picture or change its picture once you click a button. Also, you should learn how to use Ajax and JSON for making server requests. When you feel comfortable with JavaScript, it's time now for some JavaScript frameworks. You should learn at least one or two JavaScript frameworks. For example, like Vue.js, uh, React.js, and Angular.js. And of course, I cannot forget jQuery. Maybe the popularity of jQuery has passed the top, but it's still one of the most used JavaScript frameworks. So you should learn jQuery and one of the other JavaScript frameworks. And of course, you will have the advantage and a great opportunity to get a perfect job if you know all of them. Or at least you are better in one of them, but also you can use the others. So after all this, now you are ready to start a career as a front-end web developer. Not just that, but you have a great opportunity to get a job, a perfect job, and also a perfect salary. So let me see now the salary for front-end web developer. So I will use Glassdoor website to know the salary for front-end web developer. So let me type the job title, front-end developer, and let me select here instead of jobs. Let me select salaries and the location. You can type any country. So for example, let me see the salary in USA and New York. Let me search. And here it is. The average 93k per year. And here give you the lowest salary and the average and the highest. The highest is 131k. It's worth any effort to be a front-end web developer. So let me now move to a back-end roadmap. I will just tell you the easy way to start this field. The easy way is to learn scripting languages and .NET. What is scripting languages and what is .NET? Okay, scripting languages like PHP, Node.js, Python, .NET written in C Sharp. So you will learn C Sharp. And of course, you have to learn database. But this according to the programming language that you will learn. So for example, if you will learn PHP, then you have to learn MySQL. But if you choose uh, .NET, you have to learn SQL. There is also another database called NoSQL. 
but first you can learn PHP and MySQL or .NET and SQL actually if you learn it SQL you will be easily learn MySQL or you can learn node.js and uh, select SQL or MySQL node allow you to use JavaScript in server applications actually the perfect about node is allow you to uh, develop a web application just using one programming language so in this track you have many options you can select a PHP and MySQL or .NET and SQL or you can learn uh, node.js and of course there is other ways but it will be kind of advanced so firstly you should learn PHP and MySQL or .NET and SQL in my opinion I prefer to learn PHP and MySQL especially if you will choose to be a full stack web developer so let me now see the salary for full stack web developer and back end web developer with the same way let me see the salary for back end and full stack so back end web developer and here want salaries and the location USA New York so here is the average salary per year 82 so the average salary for front end is more than the salary for back end as you see now let we see also the salary for full stack So the average salary is 82k per year. So still the average salary for front end is more than back end and full stack. I hope now everything is clear and you are in confusion about something. So let me review it again. According to front end web development, you should learn HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And in HTML, you should know how to use maps, uh, fonts, and icons. Then, according to CSS and how to style elements, you should know how to make responsive web pages. So you should learn CSS3 and Bootstrap. And like I told you, responsive web pages means uh, that your page uh, fit all the screen sizes. So you should learn how to make your page responsive. And according to JavaScript, you have to learn some frameworks like jQuery, Vue.js, uh, Angular.js, and React.js. Of course, not all of them. You can select the most required frameworks like Angular or React. But of course, if you have jQuery and Vue.js, that will be perfect. And I forgot to mention JSON and Ajax. JSON and Ajax will help you to fetch data from a server, make server requests. So this is the roadmap to be a front-end web developer. Let me now move to back-end web development. So in order to be a back-end web developer, you have to go with .NET and SQL or PHP and MySQL. Or you can learn node.js and select any database you like and of course you should learn python python will help you to create web applications so this is the roadmap to be a back-end web developer so i hope now everything is clear and it's your decision now i like i told you in the next videos i will explain each programming language i mentioned in this video so in the next video i will start with javascript as you see it's the most common uh, programming language in this field I think I mentioned it in front end and back end. Yeah, and before we end this video, I forgot to mention that it doesn't mean that you decided to be a back end web developer, that you shouldn't learn HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. You have to have a basic understanding of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So, finally, that's everything I wanted to tell you about. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to get the upcoming videos once it got published. See you next time.